everyone and welcome back to another video. So today I'm going to be doing a drugstore full glam get ready with me. So everything I've got is kind of like your really affordable products and I'm going to create like a really full glam with it. I don't know what look I'm going for yet but I've got like a bunch of products here that I'm excited to use and kind of show you how you can get like really really full great like wearable glam for an affordable price. I've also had a massive issue so brought all my makeup home from my work and I got home and I don't have any brushes. So I've just had to go about my room and try and find all these brushes. <laughs> like, because I barely do my makeup at home, so all my huge brush belt is at my work and I forgot it, so I'm raging. So I've just smuggled all these little brushes from every room of the house. <laughs> so I'm trying to pull myself together and get it sorted out. So I'm going to start off by just like kind of wiping over my face and I'm just going to use my Garnier Micellar Water. And I always usually do this before I apply makeup just to make sure there's no excess dirt or like residue over my face. and because I'm gonna go do like full glam I'm gonna go in with my eyes first and I'm really excited to be trying this palette out it's from Revolution and this was gifted to me off one of my friends but I've not actually had the chance to use it yet but I did want to use it for a video so I could do like a kind of first impressions this is one of Revolution's like OG kind of palettes um they've been bringing out a lot of new eyeshadow palettes lately but I'm really excited to, to use this so this is all the colours and I'm thinking of doing obviously something very colourful and glam um, but I'm not sure what I'm going to go in with yet. So I'm going to prep my lid first and I'm going to go in with the Nip and Fab Concealer in the shade 05. I already know that I love this concealer. Um, this is from Superdrug. And this is one of my favourite products to use for an eye base. It is just unreal. Like, it's very mattifying so sometimes it's not that nice under the eyes unless you want a really really full coverage and it does dry down very quick. But I can't fault this at all and for the price, like, I usually, I go between the P. Louise base and the Nip and Fab concealer but usually I do actually pick this up more often because I just love it and it gives me like the thickness and the coverage that I like. Okay, so I'm going to go in with some product on the back of my hand and I'm going to use, <laughs> here we go with these brushes again, if you watch my other video, you'll know that I did not know how to say this brush, but it's the Be Belly Beely brush from AliExpress and I'm just going to like get some and I'm gonna messily pop this like all over my lid. I'm not carving out underneath my brows today. I have had my eyebrows done and they're all nice and HD'd so I do feel like I don't really need to like sharply define them because I feel like they're already defined. So I'm just popping this all over the lid and you literally don't even need much. Like I've just done that and I've still got loads left on my hand. I feel, I feel so bad today. I'm gonna go in with a dark purple shade first, I think, and start building up colour. And I'm gonna use the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Jai H37 brush, which is a fluffy but quite dense brush. And I'm gonna take this shade Ricochet, and I'm just gonna start working that into my crease. And whenever I place product on, I kinda always start in the outer corner. and then start to work my way forward to the front of my eye. Because I feel like if I want that outer corner to be the darkest area and I start with my brush in the middle, my middle of my eye is going to start like end up being the darkest area. So I kind of place the product down and then blend. Like that. The pigmentation of those are great. That's blended so nice as well. So it'll be good to see like how they layer on top of each other. So once I've built up that colour, I'm gonna go in with the shade Haunted and I'm gonna, this is a darker purple, and I'm gonna use the same brush and start building that up into the outer corner. This is why I do my eyes first, <laughs> because this happens. So, I'm going to go in next with the, this is a crown brush and this is a C330 Pro Blending Crease Brush and I'm going to take the shade Halftime, 
which is like a nice peachy colour. And I'm going to start lightly blending out that edge. And when I'm blending, I actually apply like no pressure to my eye. Like I hold my brush far back and I just really, really du like lightly dust it over. I feel like when I, I press really hard on my eye, that's when like I start like we can't blend really. How nice are these eyeshadows blended though? So to furthermore blend that out, I'm going to go in with the Morphe Jaclyn Hill Dry H36 brush and I'm going to take the shade New Day with a mix of the shade Daydream and pull that along the top just to make sure it's all like a gradient and like seamlessly blended together. Okay and now I've got my kind of shadows all blended up the way. I'm going to go back in and start trying to like deepen up the crease again because obviously once you start blending away they start like disappearing into each other I feel like. So I'm going to go back in with the shade Haunted. Pack that in my crease again. I feel like I want my crease to be quite defined so that when I cut it you can really notice the transition. in with a blending brush and just go over those edges. Okay so I'm just going to wipe away the excess under my eye and just kind of wing that out like that. Okay then I'm going to go in with a little bit more of the yellow, the shade New Day. And I just want to like buff that into that outer corner. Like that. And then I'm going to go in and cut my crease. And uh, I think I'm going to keep this look quite matte. But I want to cut the crease and then I want to create like a bit of like yellow and orange on the lid, I think. Right, I know what I'm going to do. Because I've not got a crease brush, I'm going to go in with a brush I used put my base on, I'm going to like put this all over my lid and then I'm going to cut the piece with a little lip brush to like make the line quite sharp. So I'm going to put that on. Like that. And then I'm going to go with this little lip brush. And I've cut my crease quite high in the inner corner. I feel like that really opens up the eyes. Um, if you take it like a little bit higher in your teardrop area. Okay, because this uh, concealer dries fast, I'm going to go in with a little blending brush in the shade Ricochet, however you say it. <laughs> and just pull in the inner corner like that quickly. It's literally just to make sure that the edge doesn't blend to, or doesn't dry in. So now I've cut my crease, I'm going to go in with the shade Daydream from the palette, which is like a really nice orange. And I'm gonna pack that on the outer bit of the crease. This palette is actually class, like please tell me that that's no class. Okay, so I'll pop that on and that's me got my orange and outer half of the crease and then I'm going to put the yellow on the inner half. I'm shook to the high hills. It's, I think it's really hard to find a yellow that is like, can actually show up well and isn't chalky. They're blending like really nicely into each other as well. Sometimes I get the fear doing like matte ombre because sometimes they can just look like a squashy, like really 
harsh. And then for the inner corner of my eye, I'm just going to take a bit of the white from the palette, Saint, and just pack that in the inner corner just to keep my eye open and bright. So for lashes, I don't actually have any like very cheap lashes. I forgot to pick up eyelashes, which I'm sorry I'm cheating. But um, these are the House of Lashes. I don't know the style because I've had these for a while. But I can try and I'll try and find them for you for when I bought them and then put them in the description box. Um, but I just like got them. It's like an Instagram kind of brand that I've seen them before, and their lashes are really nice. So. I've only ever tried one pair before though, but I really want to kind of try more. And I'm just going to apply the dual lash glue onto the strip and then leave these for about 30 seconds to dry. So while I'm waiting for them to dry for a second, I'm going to kind of start prepping my skin. This is going to be like a really weird, like funny thing, but to prep my skin, I'm just going to like go over with the Nivea Men Sensitive Post Shave Balm which you might be like, mm. but I don't know if you've heard like some of these beauty gurus talking about this, but I've had this for ages. I've always kind of re-bought it, but it's like a big bottle of like post-shave balm for men. And it, it's class for prepping your skin before makeup. Some people, there's like mixed reviews on it, but it's always worked for me. And this honestly has like, whenever I use this, this really, really keeps my makeup on. Um, and I've got sensitive skin, it doesn't affect me, irritate me at all, but there's been some people I've heard it's like broke them out, it's irritated their skin, but this is just like how it's kind of affected me and it's never broke me out or affected my sensitive skin or anything. So I'm just going to use this. It's got like a really thick pourer though. It's like you have to pour a wee bit low because it just oozes out. And you actually don't even need that much because it just like goes right over everywhere. So it's actually like, it's weird, it's like really moisturising but then it goes like really tacky. So it's nice as a base. I can't say it smells the best, it just smells like old men, but. And then for my primer, I'm gonna go in with the NYX Honey Dew Me Up. And this is like a dupe of the Touche Club by YSL. And I'm gonna, oh, it's runny though. Like really, oh. <gasps> Oh, that is dewy. It's like I'm just putting moisturiser on. Like I'm really moisturising moisturiser. <laughs> so I'm just going to quickly stick my eyelashes on. The thing I love about these eyelashes is they're like the least jaggy things ever. Their lash band is so soft and kind of flimsy that any length like doesn't feel jaggy at all. So obviously as my eyes are the now, I've got my little lashes on and you can kind of see a gap underneath where I've got eyeshadow on my lashes, but I'm going to be popping mascara on at the end. Did you just see something behind me there or am I actually seeing ghosts? Oh my god, I swear I just see a ghost on my job. That's my lashes on, I'll be popping mascara on once my eyes are totally complete. But to go in with the skin, I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline 24 hour super stay full coverage foundation. This is class. Quite a lot of like bigger um, makeup companies and salons and stuff like that use this foundation on their clients. It's a really good like full coverage foundation. It stays on great on myself. It is very matte so I wouldn't recommend it to anyone with like very, very dry skin. Um, but I think it's a great foundation. I always have since I first tried it. So to put it on, I'm going to be buffing it in with the tapered blush brush on one sex and I have no idea what brand this is from so I don't know why I even told you that but it's a big fluffy brush like that and recently I've been applying my foundation with this brush and I've really been liking how it's been looking. And I love my foundation like full coverage so that's the look we're going for. The shade I'm using is the shade Warm Sun 36. This is just one of the colours that I had in 
my kit at the salon so I probably wouldn't say this is like my shade but this was like the closest one I could match myself to when I was coming home today and again I always leave under my eyes for concealer so I just put foundation kind of just up to here and leave underneath my eyes okay so that's my foundation on and for concealer I'm gonna go in with the Barry M all night long concealer in the shade 2 and that's oatmeal A little bit on my cupid's bow and a wee bit in between the brows. And I'm just going to blend it out with my wee beauty blender. Clients always ask me if I prefer like a beauty blender or a brush for like foundation and concealer and to be honest I don't have like a massive preference um, but I do really like how a beauty blender like looks when it blends out under the eyes. then you can literally do the exact same with the brush, it's not too drastic. This is one of my favourite concealers at the moment, it's so full coverage and it actually lasts like very very long under the eyes and I feel like it looks really nice. Like it never looks cakey or anything like that. And that has really brightened up my under eye. And then to set that quickly I'm going to use the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder in the shade 001 Transparent. This is actually such a good powder, I've always loved this. Like, always. It's always been a really, really good powder, no flashback, lasts really well on the skin, and it's only, I think it's like two or three and a nine. And again, I'm just gonna set my T zone area. And then to bronze up my skin, I'm gonna go in with the Revolution powder in the shade P13, and it's called the Matte Base Powder. And this is really gonna warm me up. And I like a good contour and bronze. So I do go quite hard, but like, I really like this colour of this Revolution powder. I feel like it's great. I've got one for my kit at work as well now. Using all my clients because I actually really, really like it. Okay, once I've got that on. I'm going to go in with blusher and this is the blusher from Primark and it's the shade Secrecy and it's literally £1.50 for this beautiful corally peach shade. I'm going to use the same brush and pop that on my cheeks. These are amazing blushers. And I feel like it's a really nice complimentary shade. And then for highlighter, I'm going in with the Sleek palette. And this is the highlighting palette in this, uh, it's Solstice, I'm sure. And you've got four little shades in here. I've had this for, oh sorry, the mirror. I've had this for ages. And you've got like, this is a cream. This is your lightest one. This is more of your pinky, kind of, what's that? I don't know that's like a really nice colour. And this is your more purpley kind of shade. This is quite an iridescent sparkle. Um, but I'm gonna go in with the more pinky, bronzy toned one. And I'm gonna go in with the more of Jaclyn Hell G Dry H O9 brush. I literally just tap my brush into it and boom, there it is. And I'm gonna take it on the end of my nose, like a little tin man. And then onto the inner corner of my eye, I'm going to go in with the same brush that we used to put a little bit of white on the inner corner and then pop a bit of the lighter shade in the inner corner. So that's like my base done. And then for under my eyes, I'm going to go back in and I'm going to go in with the shade Haunted, which was a dark purple. And I'm going to... Oh, I can't do this. So you can see it as well. Look how nice my base looks though, and this is just all affordable. So the shade Haunted, I'm gonna put this, I can't see, up under here. Just in the outer corner. Like that. And then for the kind of underneath other half, I'm gonna go in with the shade Half Time. And I kind of want that to be a bit more orange, so I'm going to go on top with Daydream. 
And now that I've put the orange under there, I'm going to go in with the shade Nude, the yellow. Like that. And then for my brows, I'm just going to go through with the next tinted brow mascara in the shade Brunette. And I'm just going to brush this through my brows. Okay, so I don't actually have a drugstore mascara, which is, I know it's cheating, I've just cheated twice and I'm chucked it, haven't I? <laughs> um, but I'm just going to go in and obviously I've got my lashes on so you're not really going to notice a difference with the mascara that much anyway. So I'm going to quickly just go rub a layer of mascara on. So for lips, I'm going to go in with the Max Factor Lip Liner in the shade Brown and Nude, number 14. So I've lined my lips and then I'm going to go in with the Revolution Pro lipstick in the shade Domineer. I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. lip gloss in the shade Rose Quartz. And that's the look, like totally complete now. I was so happy with how it turned out, honestly. I knew that I loved like the majority of these products anyway, but um, there was a few things obviously that I hadn't tried before. Everything was very affordable and everything just turns out so beautiful. Like I feel like you don't always need to go and splurge out on really, really expensive makeup for it to look good. And like the longevity of this foundation is beautiful as well. I've worn it before. Um, and yeah, everything is like stuff that I've used and I love and I'm really really like shocked and happy with how the eyeshadow palette turned out. I love how it looks and it blended so well and yeah um, everything's like really really great and I'll link everything down below if you want to go and like try it out yourself but I did get the majority just from Superdrug where I'm from so yeah. I hope you liked this video and if you have any other recommendations then be sure to leave them down below.